Good day and welcome to this online video tutorial. In this video, we will work with MS Office Word and EndNote, adding citations and working with the citations in the document. First, open your document that you are working on. You will notice an extra tab, EndNote X7. Click on the tab to have a look at the different icons. Make sure that your style is according to the latest TUT Harvard style. There are two methods in how you can add the citations to your document. First, click on the Go to EndNote and select the reference that you want to add. Click on Return to Word Processor. A small arrow next to Insert Citation and select Insert Selected Citation. The reference will now add it to your document as well as in your reference list. The second method on how to add a reference, you want to add it as part of your sentence. According to, now we want to add by finding the citation. So we click on the small arrow, click on insert citation and we type in Smith, that was the first author of the first book that we've added in the first video. Once you are sure that this is the correct reference, click on insert and it will now add the second reference as well as the second reference in your bibliography already alphabetically. To change the display of the reference, click on the citation. It will be highlighted. Click on the Edit and Manage Citations button. In the dialog box, and select the formatting. We want it to be part of our sentence, so we want the author excluded from the brackets. And say OK. And now the author will be part of your sentence with only a date in brackets. But when we are using a book, I have to mention the page numbers. So to add the page number, select the citation, click on Edit and Manage and add the page number and click on OK. It will now add the page number after the year. Remember, you only have to add the page number if you're using a book. When you want to edit the reference, you see that there's a spelling mistake or a surname that's wrong you need to make the change in EndNote. So click on the reference that you want to change. Click on Edit Library Reference. It will now take you to EndNote to the specific worksheet where you can make your changes and save the reference. Now go back to your word processor and you will see that this needs, still needs to be changed in your document. Then now you click on Update Citations and Bibliography and everything will be updated. Your citation, your in-text reference as well as in your bibliography. So you keep on adding your references and your bibliography will automatically be built at the end of your document. So lastly, we will look at formatting the bibliography and changing the layout. Click on the small arrow next to bibliography. A dialog box will open. You can change the style or you can change the layout. You can add a title for your bibliography Let's change it to bibliography. You can also change the font and the size, but just remember it will change the whole bibliography. Then you click on OK and now you have your bibliography. 
you can still use the normal word functions and styles on your bibliography. You will now be able to use your references and endnote for your research projects. For more help and videos, you can visit the EndNote website at www.endnote.com. Thank you for watching.